creation of the universe has become a scientifically established fact. It is no longer a matter of faith, it is no longer some sort of theological hypothesis. The creation of the universe is now a scientifically established fact. In fact, today it is impossible to have a meaningful discussion of our cosmology without the creation of the universe playing a central role. And what do all these scientists mean by creation? What was created? What object was created to begin of the universe? And the answer is, the creation involved the sudden appearance of an enormous ball of light. The scientists call this the uh, primeval light bulb, but it has a popular name, Big Bang, and hence the name of the theory. And this answers another question. We read in Genesis in the first day of our creation, and God said, Vayomer alehim yehi or, vayhi or, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. On the first day of our creation, when there's no sun and no stars and no moon and no people and no matches and no flowers and no source of light, anybody ever heard of? And the Torah tells us, let there be light. And for 3,000 years, nobody knew what these words meant. And we're told it's spiritual light, it's light for the, for the righteous people in the world to come, all sorts of philosophical ideas. But it can't be physical light, because there was no physical light in the first day. And now the scientists tell us, yes, there was physical light in the first day. That's the way the universe began. It takes the scientists, atheistic scientists, to teach us that the Torah means exactly what it says. Let there be light. That's the way the universe began. That is, there were not two creations on the first day of our creation. The creation of the universe and the creation of the light. But the creation of the light was the creation of the universe, exactly as the Torah tells us.